Good morning, mathematicians. Today we are going to be doing chapter 9, um, lesson 5, Add Unlike Fractions, and it's from page 637 in your math book. Now we have done adding unlike fractions already for a few days. Um, we did it slightly with the models, um, and now we're moving into um, doing it following kind of the rules and procedures. So let's remember that um, to add fraction, ooh, that needs to be an A, to add fractions, the denominators must be the same. So what happens if I need to add fractions whose denominators are unlike, meaning that they are not the same denominator? Well, I have to make equivalent fractions to one or both of my add-ins in order to have fractions that do have like denominators. So if we look at page 637, the example one, it says, in the morning, an octopus swam for one third of an hour. In the afternoon, the octopus swam for one fourth of an hour. For how much of one hour did the octopus swim altogether? So we're going to add one third of an hour plus one fourth of an hour. Excuse me, I'm going to move this camera because it's rock, making a rocking sound. Um, plus one fourth of an hour. Now, three and four are not like denominators. They are obviously very different denominators. And so I need to make them like denominators. So step one, make like fractions by finding the LCD. Now the official rule for adding fractions is to find the least least common denominator. But sometimes it works to find any common denominator if I'm having trouble finding the least common denominator. So in order to find the least common denominator, I would have to take my denominator of 3 and find the multiples of 3. And then I would have to take my denominator of 4 and find the multiples of 4 until I find the least common multiple, which gives me the least common denominator. So the multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12. I'm going to stop there because I know that 12 is probably going to be it because I know my multiplication facts. Um, my multiples of 4 are going to be 4, 8, 12, there it is. The first one that they have in common is 12. So that tells me that I need to change my denominators to be 12. Well, how do I turn a 3 into a 12 using multiplication? Well, I'm going to go and multiply this fraction I know that 3 times 4 is 12. So remember that I have to always multiply by, when I'm making equivalent fractions, I have to multiply by a value of 1, right? 4 over 4. And so that's going... I'm actually going to rewrite this down here, you guys. So I'm going to do 1 third um, times my value of 1, 4 over 4. Um, plus, I have my 1 fourth. Um, so 1 times 4 is 4, and 3 times 4 is 12, plus, I'm going to take my 1 fourth. Now, how do I turn a 4 into a 3? Well, I multi I mean into a 3. Oh, gosh. Into a 12, you guys. I need the common denominator of 12. So how do I turn 4 into 12? Well, I multiply it by 3 which means to change my entire fraction, to make it rename my fraction to an equivalent, I must multiply that by power of 1, so 3 over 3, right? And that's this fraction coming down, and here's this one coming down. So 1 times 3 is 3, and 4 times 3 is 12. 
So now I have 4 twelfths plus 3 twelfths. I have like fractions. I have common denominators. So I'm going to add those. And remember when I add fractions, um, I'd never, ever, ever, ever add or subtract a denominator, right? If I'm adding or subtracting, that just moves over. And then I have to add the 4 plus 3, which is 7. So now I have to look at 7 twelfths and decide whether it needs to be simplified or if it is already simplified. So I have to think about my fraction of 7 and 12 and think, do 7 and 12 have any common factors? Well, the only way to make 7 is 7 times 1 because it's prime. And to make 12 is 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. There's no 7 in there, which tells me that this is my simplified fraction, my answer. So step 1 was to make like fractions by finding the LCD. Step 2 would be to multiply to make equivalent fractions. that have the LCD, right? And so sometimes I have to multiply both fractions like I did in this problem, and sometimes I only need to change one of the fractions because the other one has the LCD already. Let's do an example like that. Example two on the next page says Catalina spent one-fifth of her free time reading and seven-tenths of her free time practicing her flute. What fraction of her free time did she spend reading and practicing her flute? So that is adding one-fifth plus seven-tenths. Now I do not have like denominators. I need to make like denominators. So I have to find the LCD. Well, if I look at these, if the smaller of my denominators can be multiplied to make the bigger denominator, that will be my LCD. And so I should always um, look at that and, and recognize that that is the LCD. So if that happens, I don't necessarily have to list them. But if I needed to list my multiples of 5 and 10, I could. But hopefully I recognize 5 can multiply to make 10. So I'm going to take that 5. And how do I turn 5 into 10? By multiplying it by 2 over 2. So 1 times 2 is 2, and 5 times 2 is 10. And I already have the denominator of 10 here. So I only had to change one of my fractions. So 2 plus 7 is 9. And my denominator slides over, that's 10. 9 tenths is my answer. I know that this is already simplified because I always have to check. I know this is simplified because my fraction is in counting order. It goes 9, 10. That's called counting order. We're going to do one more. What if I had 1 half plus 3 fourths? Now... I look at my smaller denominator, 2. 2 can become 4, so I'm going to use that. So to, in order to make 2 become a 4, I have to multiply by 2 over 2. So 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 times 2 is 4, plus 3 fourths equals. So I slide that denominator over 4, and 2 plus 3 is 4. Five. This is the other uh, situation I wanted to show you guys. It's not an example in your book, but to show you what happens when the numerator is bigger than the denominator. That's an improper fraction or a fraction greater than 1. And when I simplify this fraction, I have to divide the denominator into the numerator. 4 divides into 5 one time. 4 times 1 is 4. 1. My remainder becomes my numerator, my denominator comes from the outside, and my final answer to this problem would be 1 and 1 fourth. So if I get an improper fraction, I do have to um, simplify that as well. All right, thank you for watching. Have a good day.